everyone welcome back to the channel the ninth cup where all of my readings focus on your soul's destiny and everything we can do to embody your soul's purpose so i'm diving into the chiron readings this is for the sign of libra if your chiron is placed in libra this reading is for you it is a general reading so it may or may not apply i'm channeling the energies of libra not the specific house placement of your chiron and it's important to know that chiron is just as equally impactful as the north node aka true node because Chiron indicates where your soul is wounded, particularly from past lives. So it is rooted down in your subconscious and the current human experience. It could be things that have happened to you in this lifetime that you're consciously aware of, but typically Chiron energy is from past lives. Um, so what, you know, what the way it plays itself out is through, um, again, subconscious beliefs and patterns, um, behavior, things like that. Okay. So Chiron and Libra. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I want to get a few oracles from the Moonology deck. And uh, just a reminder, or just to let you know, if you don't know, uh, Chiron is known to be the wounded healer. So as you heal your Chiron, you in turn are able to heal others just through by healing you. You become in a beacon of light and influence, a source of inspiration for others to do the same who have experienced um, similar, um, you know, limitations as you, you know, that house placement. And of course, the zodiac placement of your Chiron is going to give you specific information as to what area of your life needs the most attention as far as healing goes. All right. So first card out. Step out of your comfort zone, North Node. And I was just talking about the North Node. Can you guys see that? Sorry. It's just a little blurry. Okay, step out of your comfort zone. So if you have a Chiron in Libra, um, you may just be, um, yeah, a little bit hesitant to step out of your comfort zone to really seek, um, you know, the truth and balance in all situations and really um, see the beauty and everything. You know, Libra is ruled by Venus and in the tarot, it's represented in the justice card. So integrity, truth, balance, equality, um, clarity, you know, it's a it's sword's energy as well. Most depictions of the justice card, she is literally holding a sword. So it's being, being able to cut through any type of confusion. But if you're wounded there, you may also, you know, struggle with a lot of brain fog, um, you know, extreme indecision, um, kind of flip-flopping and just not never being um, able to stand true and firm to your own choices. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. There you are. <laughs> When your sign, when the sign always comes out in the reading, I'm doing that's usually a good omen, you know, good energy from the universe. Meditate and contemplate, new moon in Pisces, okay? So here we go. You're right in the center with that Libra energy. Step out of your comfort zone, a win-win outcome is forecast. Meditation and contemplate. Yeah, so this kind of seems a little bit similar to the Virgo reading I just did a moment ago. Stepping out of your comfort zone because there could be something um, new in your uh, right on your horizon, you know, someone coming through with an offer, or maybe you are thinking of taking a step towards someone or something. And source is here to tell you that you know you are going to be required to step out of your comfort zone, maybe do something you've never done before, um, or just really sink into who you are, like the authentic side of yourself kind of reveal, you know, remove that metaphoric mask that a lot of us put on, you know, a fear of rejection of being, you know, not accepted and, you know, maybe patronized in any kind of way, again, because this is speaking to your wounds. This is a Chiron reading. So, um, you know, it's really the shadow side of Libra, right? That imbalance is probably there, but here is a win-win outcome as forecast. And the word win-win is really um, jumping out to me here with win-win. I'm just getting like equal or balance. So not win-win in terms of like literally getting something. I think a lot of people can see win-win as being like, um, like literally you and someone else receiving something. I'm just seeing that this is like something coming into balance or like coming into like a truth, like you, you know, a win-win outcome, like that's like you seeing something truly for what it is, right? Because again, you might have been like in this fog, like this brain fog about a certain situation, a certain person, a certain, um, you know, endeavor that you're pursuing. And now like something is going to happen. Maybe someone could come to you with clarity or like, you know, some type of explanation, or you just kind of have that revelation on your own because the final card here is meditate and contemplate. When you're able to get still and connect to source, um, you know, you open up that crown chakra and your third eye, you can receive divine downloads from source energy. 
and with those divine downloads can come the clarity and truth that you need that really cannot be obtained or seen in the 3D, you know, with your physical eyes. It's more of a energetic and spiritual connection. So this is beautiful energy so far, Libra. I'm liking it. Let's get some tarot to clarify each oracle. We have Eight of Cups. First card out here, clarifying, step out of your comfort zone. Eight of Cups energy, it's water energy, moving away from things that no longer serve you, things that are no longer um, emotionally fulfilling. So as you are moving out of your comfort zone, you may find that you are now, you know, leaving behind the things that were definitely in a comfort zone, but were not beneficial for your growth, okay? And for any kind of, you know, healing and overcoming a spiritual wound, um, you know, a, a soul wound, we have Page of Wands, Pages, someone new or something in its initiation phases. So this could be you or someone that's approaching you. And then we have Queen of Pentacles. Okay, interesting energy here with the step out of your comfort zone. Um, so this could be um, many things. Again, it's a general reading, but the energies I'm getting here is that you're walking away from things that maybe have kept you too contained, too still, and really... Um, rooted you down in that state of imbalance as you move away you begin to take on the energies of the page of wands having like a spark of creativity new ideas um, inspiration like feeling fearless on taking on like the you know the vast um action or like vast amount of creative options that may be in front of you and this queen of pentacles energy like is sturdiness it is leadership it is like you know femininity and knowing that you really are in your power so this could be you or this could be the, um, the energies of someone else that's kind of stepping in to help guide you along the way a mentor a coach parents you know sibling whoever um, or like I said, this could be just you embodying the energies. I'm getting that it's a little bit outside of yourself, um, but sometimes, you know, the people we're around like mirrors what's within us. So this could be like some, you know, you're literally mirroring the energies of someone that you're close to, or again, they're kind of coming towards you. Let's get a, a few more um, clarifications for this win-win outcome. Yeah, the Fool card. Aquarius and Aries energy. This is Uranus and Aries, a new beginning, having unshakable faith, being able to step out without knowing exactly what's right in front of you. It's a new beginning. Three of Pentacles. Yeah. So there's going to be some help coming in from others. Um, this could be you, your higher self and source, but because it's Pentacles, I think it's more of like the 3D. So collaborations, um, being a part of a group, um, support group, doing group coaching, um, classes, things like that. And you have the Empress, this is beautiful. This is your energy, Venus, um, beautiful Venusian energy. Um, being kind of pregnant with, this could be physical pregnancy, you know, with, you know, expecting a child, but this could be, um, again, like that burst of creativity that came out here with the Page of Wands. You ready to birth something new, birth a new project, birth a new lifestyle, birth, um, you know, a new, relationship dynamic with someone it could be a series of things but i'm getting that you know as you again move away from the things that were not fulfilling that were um, shackling you to a lower energy putting you into a high vibe energy with the fool um, accepting the um, collaborations and partnerships with others it's going to help you bring forth like a new outcome and i think you know this pregnancy here is could see like i think this is symbolic of that win-win outcome that's here that you, you know you're getting ready to birth you know beautiful we have the strength card card of leo coming out with contemplate and meditate so yeah as you contemplate and meditate you get stronger within yourself knight of cups becoming more emotionally stable this is someone that could be moving towards you with an offer of love or you know coming towards you with just like more nurturing and support page of cups okay yeah page so this person that could be coming towards you to help you or maybe you already know them um, they're coming in to help facilitate this new endeavor that you are, are embarking upon or just kind of support you in as you as you transition out of, you know, a past cycle. I said in the Virgo reading that the overall theme of these Chiron readings has been transformation and ending of cycles and stepping into the new. Um, and I think that that has to do a lot with what's going on in the cosmos. We have a lunar eclipse coming up tomorrow in the sign of Gemini. Um, we have the great conjunction with Jupiter and Saturn moving to Aquarius in, at zero degrees, the end of 
yeah, towards the end of December. So there's going to be a lot of things really ending cosmically, like genera generationally, collectively um, in 2020. And with that, it's going to obviously permeate down into the you know individual day-to-day -day realm. So I think, again, that's what's being reflected in these readings as well, you know, including yours, um, with someone coming in to help you move away from the things, from situations, even a mindset, you know, it could be just like your own mindset too, that was just like shackling, shackling you to, um, you know, not, not your truest self, you know, not bringing in any abundance. And this person that's going to help you or these people, it's really giving you the strength to stand on your own two feet to maybe put you in this queen of pentacles energy, this page of cups, you know, it's like, Again, something small. You have two pages here. You have a page of wands and a page of cups. So it's definitely the initiation of something new. Um, I just got like, it's like the initiation of like a new you. Um, like not being like so uncertain anymore. Um, not being like, not being able to see like the true like beauty of yourself and what you bring to the table. You know, because Libra, the light side of Libra is like, so much like gracefulness and beauty and balance and fairness and truth you know it truly is an air sign you know it's very intellectual but it's you know also a lot of earth too it's you know really lofty and i just think if you have a car on there then you probably just don't see you know the value of of those things that those attributes that you have you know like the beauty you have this could be you know purely physical you know maybe you don't see just how gorgeous you are how handsome you are um how attractive you are how other people view you you know this queen of pentacles energy you can see how like you know it's a beautiful depiction of a woman here you know and maybe this is someone coming to show you you show you like this is how people view you um and you know you may need just a little bit of help to see that in yourself you know that's where the meditation and contemplation comes in and also how strong you are um so this is like definitely an empowerment reading you know people are coming through to help you and empower you to take the next steps that you know you need to take but you don't necessarily have the clarity you don't um, have the the guidance and um that's okay i mean i think that you know as i said in the beginning with chiron being the wounded healer maybe someone has the, has had the same experience as you or and, and you know they've healed their Chiron very similar Chiron and you know now they're here divinely guided to you or you know uh, brought into union with you to help you work through this as well so let's get a few oracles psychic tarot oracle deck positive movement forward this is like eight of cups yeah here again, so we have two Eight of Cups. Whenever the same card comes out twice, the energy is very present. So you're moving forward towards something. And you can see in this card, this boat's moving towards sunlight, towards like, and that sun is representative of wish fulfillment, bliss, you know, success, abundance, crown chakra. And then we'd have meditate and contemplate over here. So this crown chakra could just be sort of telling you that maybe this is a place that you need to work on clearing, you know, do some chakra clearing and you could do your own research on that on how to um, bring your chakras into balance particularly the crown chakra that's how we receive divine downloads through your crown and third eye then we have conflict and defeat so this could be like how you were feeling about yourself this could be past energies or energies that you're currently sitting in but this person is coming through with love and kindness and compassion to you know really help you rise back up to your feet that's what i'm getting with that knight of cups there and that page of cups energy coming through to pull you out of that defeated defeated um mindset and you know energetic vibration a few more oracles from the starseed oracle double mission light worker starseed serve the world by being you yeah so i think once you figure out like well, I think you know who you are, but you know what I mean. Once you figure out like your your mission, once someone helps you, sets you kind of on the right track, I think you're definitely going to be um, in good shape here. The blue flame, spontaneous awakening, activation, integration time. Yeah, this really is um, building off the energies of the contemplate and meditate. Spontaneous awakening and activation, and it's coming out right with this crown chakra. 
So yeah, there's definitely an activation that could be taking place. But sometimes when that happens, it can really, um, it can scare us too, depending on where we are in our spiritual journey. You know, activations could feel like, it can, it can uh, mistake itself for like the energy. I mean, it, you can like mistake it for like a PTSD crash or like a dark night of the soul, but really it's like a, it's like you're being cracked wide open. Fall into my arms, surrender, holding the opposites, extremes of life. This came out, I think, for Virgo. Um, fall into my arms, surrender. Yeah. So surrender to the help that is coming in for you. Let's get one more, actually. There's so many cards and, and they come out the same. Okay. Oh, my goodness. What did I just say? Cracked open. Rock bottom, surrender to the alchemy of life. Yeah. So this is an activation reading, too. Here we go. <laughs> Sometimes I just need another card. You know, I need source to kind of come through and just kind of shore up the message here. So it did. Source came through. All right, Libra, this is what I have for you. Um, I hope that you've at least found a few nuggets of you know wisdom and truth in this reading. If so, just go ahead and like the video. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you guys. Um, check out the links if you're interested. Personal readings as well as soul purpose readings with your natal chart are available. If you do check out those prices, just know that they are going to be until the end of this year, 2020. As of 2021, those prices will be for recordings only and then it'll be a slightly higher investment for live readings. Um, and yeah, that's all I have for you. I hope to see you guys in the next reading. Love you guys and be sure to thrive. Bye.